Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt, this is D. Savings Challenge Sunday is here, so it's time to crank out some challenges and see how much I ended up saving for the month of January. Remember, everything I was saving this month was to help replenish my emergency fund as well as my vet bill fund, which I completely obliterated. So by going hard and being aggressive with my savings in January, I'm hoping to be able to bring those back up to a level where I feel safer, not completely safe because there's always something that pops up, and wipes it out again. So this time I'm gonna be stuffing 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, plus an additional buck. Can you guess what that is? And can you guess why I'm so dang excited? Oh, <laughs> it's a debug. So I'm gonna start off with a debug challenge because that means that with this precious dollar, I now have enough to color in this last one. Yes, I was so excited. I actually was getting kind of nervous thinking, what if I don't find this last one before the month is over? So that means now that because I filled out this tracker, Remember, all these challenges are linked in the description box down below. So now because I have this filled out, I am able to put these 25 bucks towards debt, which is my mortgage. So that knocks down how much I owe on the principal, which knocks down how much I have to pay in interest in February when my payment comes due. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, <laughs> so dang exciting. So here's the screenshot I'll be putting in after the fact of that transfer and how much it brings my new balance to. Now there were no Starbucks this week, so nothing gets put into that challenge. So then it's time to stuff the birthday challenge. Can't believe it's getting so close that I get to blow all this money because to me this is a lot of money. So I put in $10 each time. So this week I get to color in one of the S's. My mom decided to throw in a bonus S on my name, which has made my life very, very difficult. Woe is me. <laughs> Just because everyone's always spelling it wrong and I can never find it spelled the way I spell it on pre-made personalized stuff. Ah, there it is. That means I now have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. And that's crazy that my birthday's just two weeks away. So 70 bucks to spend guilt-free. Technically this is a $75 challenge, but there's seven letters. So I might just color in that one, that rose. For five. It's not a payday week, which means I'm not doing the donut challenge for my Roth IRA. I only do this when I get paid. Time to do this for the last time in order. So I've been going in one, two, three, four, today five order. After this, I've actually created a little llama jar. So I cut out, I printed an extra sheet, cut it out, folded it up, and then I'll be starting in February, shaking it, picking a random number, and so I'll be jumping around out of order, which is terrifying because that means I could get a 52 and probably cry or drop dead of a heart attack. So we'll see how that goes once I start doing that challenge. So I've got this interesting nude color. So we're gonna have a peach colored llama. And as you know, with my little dog named Peaches, I'm a big fan of peach. That color reminds me so much of the 80s. Remember when everything was peach? Like sofas, walls, clothes. <laughs> so in go the five bucks. And that means I have $15 saved for this 52 week challenge. And after today, the llamas will probably choose violence from here on out. 
Now next is the digital challenge because this is an electronic transfer. Basically, I do my investing through Cash App for my dividend portfolio. So this week it's 45 bucks. So in a minute, you'll see me fire up Cash App and watch me invest those $45. The week got away from me though. School just started for the spring semester and I've been crazy ridiculous busy. So I wasn't able to invest on Friday like I like to do so you can actually watch the full thing, the full transaction take place. So once I put this through, you'll see a pending transaction. But 45 bucks into this challenge. So here we are in Cash App. This week I'm gonna be investing in Valero Energy because their dividend deadline basically is coming up. So by buying before February 2nd, I believe, I'll be able to get paid my dividend in February. They pay once every three months and so their dividend is coming up. So their share price has gone up a lot. As you can see, I've earned a lot by having this one. I've gained $71.45, but now their share price is $143 and change. Yeesh. They do pay a dividend of 2.85%. And so this, I feel, is a good one for me to be putting my money in. In fact, I used to invest $1 in them each time I filled up my gas tank as a way to get me investing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the order for $45, but because the stock market is closed, it's the weekend, then my order won't officially go through until Monday morning. Also, because I was so tuckered out and so dang busy, I didn't do a Freebie Friday video, but please make sure to check out my community tab because there is a link that I put there for the most hecking cute checklist stickers. So they're made to look like this marker right here. So I'll put the screenshot next to it. They are adorable. I love mild liners. I love checklists. I, <laughs> those checklists are helping me survive this crazy school year. So make sure you go and check those out. All right, it's the last week. So that means I have to do five, 10, 20. Woo! So here's 20 and I'm starting my New Year's challenge stack, which you'll see pile up right here. So officially done with this cha with this savings challenge by Loose Budgets. So make sure and check her shop out. Link down below in the description box along with everybody else. So oof, 20 bucks. But that's because I took the easy way out and did a couple of weeks where I only did the $1 ones. So that's the price I have to pay, literally. Also closing this one out today. Phoebe from Mori Temi Savings has sent me this one. So here's the two fives because each of these cute little things. I love stars. I'm going through a star phase right now. So each of these is five. Done and dusted with that one. This one, however, <laughs> I think depending on the numbers, I might spill it over into February because these are some dang violent numbers right here. Let's see how this goes. 16. Oh, so I'm closing out this one. So remember, the reason I'm nervous is whatever's left over from this challenge money becomes my spending money. So 10, 15, 16. Boom. And I'll color this one in. Oh, <laughs> there are four Sundays in February. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my. Let's go in for one more. Oh, thank you. <laughs> five, six, and seven. I am gonna color this in. And I think I'm gonna leave it there. Because in February, when it lands on the 13, then I'm maybe hoping like heck that it'll land on the 6 if I shake, shake, shake again. Oh, <laughs> but I might come back to this today. We'll see. Depends on the other challenges. So actually, let's put that here. Now, this one was a gift, and each of them is dated, so 129. So Teresa at TC's Life said that each little card was a clue to what was in here. It's a turkey, so that has me completely confused. So I'm thinking it's a thankful challenge, a thankfulness challenge, or like a gratitude challenge, because Thanksgiving is long gone. Now we're closing in on Valentine's, so let's see. 
I've been having fun with these challenges, you know, declutter, write a love letter, um, all kinds of fun stuff that's been going well so far. Oh, speaking of that love letter, write a thank you note to someone. Oh, this is awesome. This is so sweet. So who's going to do this with me this week? The person that I wrote the love letter to finally wrote back. His cat had passed away, his 18-year-old cat. And I used to love his cat. So I wrote him a letter about how much I loved his cat, I guess. So was it a love letter to his cat? <laughs> and just, you know, that my heart goes out to him because my I have a dog that passed away three years ago, the day before my birthday. And I'd had her for a long, long time. She was my little old lady dog. And I'm still crushed about that. I still grieve her. I still b randomly break down and cry. So I talked to him about that and how it's a hard process. So I know what he's going through and how much he's loved and how Mr. Nelson, his cat was loved. So it took him a while to write back, but he wrote the sweetest thing. So this has been a very fun challenge to do. And I'm curious to see if you write a thank you note to someone and how it went. Ooh, okay, this one. I get to scratch on a technicality because remember I changed this around because I'm not comfortable selling things from my house like yard sales or listing things where people come to my house to buy it. I don't want stranger dangers coming to my house. I live alone and I'm just not ready <laughs> for what that could lead to if something goes horribly wrong like the whole Craigslist killer thing. So what I decided to do is I decided to donate at least five things and then sell at least five things. So I did donate way more than five things. And I did create this llama loot challenge and ended up selling more than five. So I deeply appreciate everybody who purchased a copy of that. And I'd actually messaged Chris when I was asking her to list that on my For the Creator shop that she owns. I was like, oh, I hope I can sell at least five. And so I did, so thank you. I had been wanting to design at least five things as well. And that was one of the five. However, school has just been kicking my hiney. And I've had very little time to myself. It's all school, 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 24 seven. So let's see what I get to put aside in my Pandora box. All right, 10 bucks. So this isn't one that goes into here. This $10 actually goes into here. And now I'm finished with this challenge because this is gonna be used to buy charms. So my beautiful niece gave me a Pandora bracelet for Christmas. She was my secret Santa. And now I'm gonna be using this money to add another charm to it. So I've been adding a charm at a time. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 bucks. So once I purchase that charm, I'll be showing you what I got. And I'll probably keep doing this Pandora cha uh, challenge because, you know, there's still room <laughs> for more charms. I want, I've got room for a couple more charms here because I'm keeping them between these two clips. But I also want to buy a couple of sparkly clips here um, so that this looks fancy when you just only see this side of my bracelet instead of this side. So what do you think? Should I keep doing the Pandora challenge? We love your feedback and ideas and suggestions. Okay, there's just two left of this one. From Brenda, and then I start her cute little Valentine's Day gnome one for February. So looking forward to that. So let's see how much she has in store for me. Ooh, the sticker came up, so let's just peel it off. <gasps> oh my gosh, I want to put the sticker back on. 20 bucks, 10, 20. Oh my. Girl, this number better be little. Oh, it's a two-digit number. 12. <laughs> That's still a pretty beefy number for me. 10, 11, 12. Oh, my. So this challenge is done, but it waited until the end to traumatize me. Now, this from, from Kim has so many dang stickers left, and I only have... This one has caused me to go into IOU land. I only have 10. 40. Uh, and there's 1, 2, 3, 12. Yeah. So I think this one I'm going to keep going into February along with this one. <laughs> oh, how many should I do? Y'all think I might just do three and that might not even be enough right here for those three. 
Let's see how this goes. Let's clear out this little party hat right here so we can see her cute little face. Eleven dollars. Oh, there's eleven. The one right above it. Oh, thank goodness gracious. <laughs> six dollars. There's a six. And let's clear out that row. See, that's five. 23. Oh, 23 is a lucky number. You know what? I'm going to call it right here. I really want these $23 for spending money because today I'm actually going with my sister in law. She's the one that had the surgery in November for her brain tumor. Her absolute favorite thing is the gem and mineral shell in Tucson. So we're actually going to that today. So you know what? 23 is what I consider a good luck number. This will be my spending money at that gem and mineral show. I'm calling it. <laughs> this is my money. <laughs> that dang January scratcher can wait until February. So this one will wait as well. Let's see how much I ended up putting away then for today. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. So I'm gonna put my hundred-dollar placeholder here. Boom, down it goes, and off to Ally this goes. And then there were two dollars left over. Now let's see all together. What is the grand total that I saved up in January? Any wild guesses? Let's see if I can consolidate. Nope, these are all ones. So in the month of January, I saved 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 620, 621, 622, 623, 624, 625, 626, 627. Amazing. It was basically a no spend January for me because I was being so aggressive with my challenges. Looking forward to February. Not only is it my birthday month, I'm just going to kind of relax and not go so hard with the challenges. Now that I've semi rebuilt my emergency fund and my VEP fund, I'll start to shift my focus to other funds that I wanna beef up a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Please let me know by leaving me some sort of money emoji. For example, the money bags, Little Miss money bags right here with over $600 saved in January. Yes, so exciting. And I'm looking forward to new challenges in February. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.